sweet. We're live. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here with the third installment of um, Plan Cash Liars, things that can look very confusing and confounding in the Plan Cash. Uh, and this this is the final of this final installment of things that have a low cost but high CPU. Now, there are other things that can cause this. Um, chief among them is, you know, parameter sniffing or parameter sensitivity. I'm going to cover that. Uh, I'm going to cover a few different variations on that in future videos. This is like the non-parameter sniffing stuff. This is just stuff that's straight up weird. All right, and I think probably one of the weirdest things in SQL Server is R. R or is <laughs> probably uh, row goals. Uh, because they can affect query plans in very strange ways. Uh, you know, SQL Server will internally say, look, I think, uh, I, you know, I don't want to read every row in the table. I think I can, I think if I set a, a smaller internal row goal, I can, I can meet, can meet my quota. I can meet like all the, 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 ne the demands of this query in a, in a much quicker and easier way than if I like, you know, uh, process every single row and do all this other stuff. So, uh, in doing so, it reduces the cost of the query and um, chooses a totally different strategy for doing things. Um, so, like, you'll see a lot of, like, you know, little nested loops joins and key lookups and stuff where, like, you know, without the row goals, you might see, like, hash joins and merge joins. Now, row goals aren't always bad. They're there for very good reasons, and sometimes they can be very, very helpful to queries. Other times, they can be less so. So, let's look at a case where they are less so. I'm going to execute this query, and then we are going to look at a query plan. Surprise! Shocking, I know. No one would have seen this coming. It's the most bizarre thing. Boy, this is running for a long time. How long does this query run for? 15 seconds to return zero rows. Why? Row goals! Yay! We figured it out. We cracked the case, you and me. Now, First thing I want you to see, these lines are thick, thick, thick lines, much thicker lines than one would typically want to see going into a nested loops join. That is a very unscientific thing to say, but it's one of those things that you might, you might look at and say, hmm, that's a lot of work for a nested loops join. Now, if we, for n newer versions of SQL Server, which hopefully you're on by now, gosh, it's enough already. Uh, newer versions of SQL Server will not not in the tooltip, uh, but in the properties window, the extended properties. Like if you hit F4, right click and go to properties, uh, you will see you will see this little do add up here. Estimated rows without row goal three seven six seven five six zero. Uh, estimated number of rows, and this is an estimated number of rows with the row goal. Uh, 2.84807. So SQL Server is like, I think I can do this in about three rows. I don't know what a 0 0.84807 of a row is. Don't ask me. Well, let's just call that three, because <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. If I start to bend this finger down, strange things will happen. Uh, if I wanted to represent like 0 0.84807, I would have to do strange things, um, like bite part of my finger off. <clears throat> but uh, SQL Server is like, I think. You know, the estimated rows without the row goal, look at that's a big number. Estimated rows with a row goal, it's a much smaller number. Uh, the thing is that, uh, let's see if I can, I can frame this well. Um, this number and this number are <laughs> pretty close to each other. SQL Server did not save itself any work with this row goal. SQL Server did a bad job of, of, of finding, of, well, actually, maybe it did a great job of finding data that wasn't there or something. I don't know. But... The point is that oh, we had this row goal introduced, and uh, because the row goal introduced uh, a, a different join strategy, a different strategy for finding data than we might otherwise see, uh, then we have this little nesty loopy plan where SQL Server took 3.75 million rows from the votes table, and uh, for each one of those rows, stuck it through a nested loops join, and went to find data over here, and then, and then 
obviously didn't find data. We found zero of four rows over here, which is interesting. But the point is that uh, with because we had that row goal, we had that nested loops join, where SQL Server thought three rows would do the job here. It clearly did not. It took 3.75 million. And then we had to do 3.75 million uh, things over here, which is unfortunate, to say the least. Now, this is, of course, not about actual execution plans. This is, of course, about uh, non. This is about how the plan cache can lie to you and how you can use SP Blitz cache to figure things out. Now, once again, we'll see a very low cost query here. That low cost is that, that cost reduction, or rather the cost reduction comes from the row goal being introduced. Over in the warnings column, we will see two familiar warnings, low cost, high CPU, and row goals. Uh, again, newer versions of SQL Server where this is available in the, uh, plan, in the plan XML Blitz cache will find this for you under expert mode. Um, there are a bunch of checks that don't get run in non-expert mode, just because for most people, um, there's enough information with the, the like round one checks to go on and uh, you know just some of the all the XML plan parsing stuff sucks so like if we can avoid it unless people ask for like additional stuff then I, I, I like to do that now the query plan for this is going to look like nothing happened my goodness how could this have possibly taken 14 seconds or whatever how could this be well, bro goals. <laughs> now, if we go over here and we look at uh, some stuff, we will see that, indeed, we had a whole bunch of CPU and a whole bunch of duration, right? Bad, bad, bad news. And this was, uh, if we go over a little bit further, uh, we can see that... <laughs> What's it call that time to bring no rows back? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. That's very helpful. Anyway, um, now, I don't want you to think that row goals are all bad. I don't want you to think that they're horrible things that you should avoid at all, that, you know, you should go stomp out and fight at all costs. And also, I think something I forgot to mention earlier is nothing in this uh, series is going to teach you how to fix things. This is just to show you how how plans might lie to you. If you want to learn how to fix things, well, that's a whole different set of videos. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Mr. Paul White, Mr. Paul White, who does his black magic, uh, has written a series, a four-part series on Rogals uh, over here at SQLPerformance.com. And I would highly suggest uh, reading every single one of those in excruciating detail and then leaving a lot of comment questions for Paul because Paul loves comments doors them. Anyway, uh, I am Eric Darling, and uh, the next video is a total surprise to everyone. I'll see you there.